So the talk before practice was about the Deshaun Watson 11-game suspension. The talk after practice, Tavante Smith is going to be a star. Dallas still stinks. Back here, and I hope everybody's having a great day. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're hanging in there. So, today was the Eagles' first day practicing with the Cleveland Browns. They got two joint practices, and let me tell you, the Browns got a taste firsthand of how potent this Eagles offense can be, and they couldn't handle it. Now, we're gonna get into it in a second, but before we do that, if you're new to the channel and you like the content, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to like. We do Eagles stuff every day. We will be streaming Eagles-Browns this Sunday, uh, as well as, you know, every other Eagles game the rest of the year. Uh, so you don't want to miss it. And if you've been subscribed for a while, just double check. Double bull walk check. And make sure you're still subscribed because, you know, YouTube does funny things. Now, like I said, before practice started, it was all about Deshaun Watson. All about Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson's 11-game suspension. My thoughts on, on his 11-game suspension are this. Whatever. He ain't, he ain't my quarterback. I don't have to worry about it. But this is why I didn't want to go and trade for a guy who could possibly be suspended. I said the only way I would trade for him, he had to be 100% completely clear of any potential problems or trouble. Obviously, he's not. So that's... That, that was the big story before practice. After practice, the Eagles offense just lit up the Cleveland Browns. This offense has it all. They have speed. They have size. They have skill. They have swagger. They have aggressiveness. They have meanness on their offensive line. This team, this team, the sky is the limit. I'm sorry. I'm a little pumped up about today's practice. I can't help it. They just double moonwalk the Browns' ass, all right? Let's, let's talk about... Uh, this practice, and let's talk about first the injury report. Eagles report for Thursday practice versus Browns. Did not practice. James Bradbury groin. We got to keep an eye on that. He can't come back until he's 100%. Grant Calcaterra still still hurt. Missed uh, missed another practice with hamstring. Christian Ellis hamstring. Javon Hargrave big ass toe. Jason Kelsey elbow. I'm not worried about that. Uh, Miles Sanders hamstring. It drives me absolutely nuts. And then Greg Ward, he still has a toe. And and like I said with him, uh, you know, he, he's missing a lot of practices here. Uh, it, it can't be helping Greg Ward Jr. to be missing those practices, okay? Just way too many, okay? So let's let's start out with, with the guy I have to talk about, Devontae Smith. Because Devontae Smith is going to be a star. This is what I've said all along since they drafted him. This is what I said even when they got A.J. Brown. Devontae Smith is a star. And let me tell you, A.J. Brown is too. But I, I, I've i said this all, all season. I believe by the end of the year, Devontae Smith will lead the team in receptions, receiving yards. I think A.J. Brown will have more touchdowns than Devontae Smith. But Devontae Smith... He, he can't, you can't cover him. He's too good, okay? He's too good. Uh, like uh, Brandon Lee Gowton said, the Browns can't cover Devontae Smith. They can't cover him, okay? Uh, Thomas R. Peterson, he says the same thing. Devontae Smith is going to be a star, and soon. I, I already say he's there. I would already say he's there, okay? Um, Devontae Smith... Eagles wide receiver versus Pound Browns defensive back just finished one-on-one -on -one reps, and it was very one-sided drill. The Eagles wide receivers got the better of almost every rep. Almost every rep, okay? And and let me tell you, Jalen Hurts was really good today. Maybe his best day throwing. And I think this is a big deal. And and this is why I'm, I'm so jacked up. Pause. But I'm so pumped up about today is because the Eagles coaching staff make a bigger deal about these kind of practices than they do any preseason game. So the thing that they take the most pride in or, 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 or put the most emphasis on 
is these joint practices. So then when the Eagles go out and Jalen Hurts has his best day, should we not be excited? When A.J. Brown's going out there making one-handed catches, should we not be excited? When Devontae Smith can't be stopped by the Cleveland Browns, should we not be excited? When Jalen Hurts has his best throw of camp, or maybe his people have seen him throw, should we not be excited? Wow, Jalen Hurts rolls to his left, looks up, and throws across his body downfield to A.J. Brown. That was a very difficult throw, but Hurts saw a window and executed. Rodney Harris was in coverage. Many people said that was his his best his best uh, his best throw that they've seen from him in training camp. Okay, um, so the Eagles wide receivers dominated. Uh, Browns were getting a little frustrated. Things got a little chippy at one point with Devontae Smith. Joint practices getting spicy. Browns Richard LeCount. Le- LeCount. <laughs> Whoa, whoops, slip. Richard LeCount extended his trash talking towards Pound Eagles' Devontae Smith. Smith says Smith then went back at him and said the last time he saw LeCount, he put him on the bench in reference to the Alabama Georgia Day. You even got you even got Devontae Smith talking crap now, okay? So Devontae Smith is going to be a star, okay? Pound Eagles, Devontae Smith caught everything thrown his way during one-on-one routes. Just cooked A.J. Green. Mix of deep, short, intermediate routes. Smith shows off perfect body control as he hails in tough receptions near the sideline. He tapped the toes to ball from Hurts. Devontae Smith caught everything. Devontae Smith does everything. Devontae Smith is a star. And, And the thing is, is this isn't just today. If you go back to the videos we talked about the last two practices before they came to Cleveland, you know, Devontae Smith returns, has his best day of practice. The next practice, Devontae Smith goes out, kills it at practice, has a great practice. This is now three three days in a row where he's getting better and better and better, and he's going to continue. Uh, Devontae Smith, hell of a practice. Jalen Hurts, hell of a practice. Um, and, and yeah, I thought the Eagles had a really, really good day. And like I said, this is where their their coaching staff puts the most emphasis on anything that they do during training camp. So if we're going to do that, then this is a great day for the Eagles. We also have to talk about uh, Landon Dickerson, okay? Because Landon Dickerson, and this is what what I mean. When, When you talk about, like, guys in this offense and you talk about, you know, guys uh, that are fast, guys that can catch, uh, guys that run great routes, guys that are physical. Uh, you look at his offensive line, and they're mean, and they're nasty. And they're very, very nasty, okay? There was a play. It was the hit of camp, okay? Like, literally, this this thing registered on, on the whole, whatever, the earthquake meter thing. It was, and it wasn't Zeke Elliott just walking around the park, okay? Because it also shakes when he walks around that fat bastard. But... This was Landon Dickerson decleating Jacob Phillips, okay? Landon Dickerson just decleated Jacob Phillips on an inside run. You could hear the block from 50 yards away. Landon Dickerson then got up doing squats with his hand out, okay? He was even, like, rubbing it in, okay? And and, uh, and they said that the Eagles' sideline was going crazy. Why are the Eagles not showing these practices? Seriously, like... You gotta, you gotta have a live feed for this. It's 2022. I would take off work and just watch this and stream it. Oh man, I hate that they don't do it. That they don't put this on um, their site so you can watch. It, it, I love when they used to do that, and they used to do it for a while. They kind of got away from it. You know, I understand like May 11, 11, when you're running certain plays in your playbook and you don't want teams to see. So you, you okay, shut the feed 11, 11. But everything else, like one on one drills, why can't we see it? I want to see this stuff, man. I want to see. I want to see the deplete. Uh, I want to see it. I want to see Landon Dickerson pancake somebody into next week. I just do. All right? So today, this was a day for the offense. Uh, Deshaun Watson at times, they said, struggled. Eagles defensive line put good pressure on him, gave them all they could handle. Uh, Josh Sweat, couple sacks. So a good day for the Eagles all in all. Uh, no question about it. And 
it, it goes, it's that offense. That offense was good. Jalen Hurts was good. You know, I talk about Devonta Smith, Devonta Smith. I don't want to underplay uh, the fact that Jalen Hurts had a good day. And A.J. Brown made a great one-handed catch in the end zone at one point. Uh, they, the receivers all had a good day, okay? But, but you can't help. You can't help but look at Devontae Smith. And you look at Devontae Smith and you think, oh, my God, you have A.J. Brown on the other side. And you have this guy. How are teams going to stop him? The, it, it was too much. The Eagles receiving team is too much for the Cleveland Browns. And this is going to be a problem for a lot, a lot of teams. And maybe, just maybe, the fact that the Eagles have been practicing with Darius Slay and Bradbury all year, or all training camp, maybe, maybe some of these defenses are just not going to be as good. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, with that said, that's pretty much practice for today. We will be back with more practice tomorrow, and then maybe a video later tonight if I have something to say. So take care. Talk to you later, of course. Don't be a dingbat. It's how we vision. We're all just living in it. And if somebody knows where Howie Roseman is, let me know. Because no Miles Sanders in practice today. None. We need we, we may need a running back. And if Kareem Hunt was there, I'm going to go talk to him. He can't be happy. He ain't paid there. The quarterback's out 11 games. It's time to go and make a play for Kareem Hunt. I have not forgotten that one bit. This is a time to work out something. Brent, let's bring him home back to Philly when we come. When we leave Cleveland, let's bring him back to Philly. Miles Sanders out with another hamstring. How long is this going to go on? That's what I'm worried about. Denzel Washington, out.